Hello, welcome to Coach Michael 101, where we listen to music, check out movies, other miscellaneous mayhem, and hopefully we have some fun along the way. Um, we are going to check out the Dave Matthews Band, or I guess more correctly, Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds. Uh, the name of the song is Bartender, which I believe is a Dave Matthews song, uh, the band. But I have not heard this song. I don't think I have. I, I like ba Dave Matthews. I've I'm quite familiar with a lot of his music, and there's one song that's very um, emotional, touch, touch and go for me, for a strange reason. We won't get into that now, but maybe I'll I'll react to that and see if I survive. But, uh, we're going to check out Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds, Bartender. This is the live version. Let it roll. <clears throat> Radio City Music Hall. Wow. I, I apologize for stopping, but it's amazing to think that's almost 17 years ago. Time goes by so fast, people. It goes by so fast, so make sure you enjoy every minute of it. We'll bring it back to his strut on the stage. <laughs> it's so funny. He either has just the biggest smile or a completely sinister look. This one's a little more on the sinister side. <laughs> heard a word yet and already it has that kind of the first thoughts that popped into my head with that slide guitar is it sounds very apocalypse now it sounds very sinister down on the bayou type what was the movie um at powers booth with the national guard group down in in the bayou louisiana i think of the name of it i'll, I'll figure it out Love it.
it sounds like he's uh in mourning, like wailing. It's almost like a an instrument. We'll bring it back a, a few more seconds here, but his voice is just an instrument right now. It's almost like a trio is playing. It sounds very uh, kind of deep, deeply passionate, almost like wailing. So I'm wondering where this is going. Bartender. <laughs>
back just a little bit. Okay, so the I'm, a, I'm thinking the bartender is God or an angel. And at first, you know, his words were kind of harsh. I, I'm, I'm almost thinking like the the stages of of grief, where he's at first he's angry and then pleading, and then he's kind of resolute to his fate. And from what I can guess, he's, he's asking, he's, you know, he's talking to his family about the things he's done wrong. He's talking about the gold and the things that you you buy that aren't important anymore. And I could be way off because this this song is, is so deep, but it's not direct. So it gives, it's one of those songs that, that lets the person listening kind of apply their own life to it. I love it. It's absolutely Amazing. No, just wanna run and hide among bad, bad knees. Bartender, please. Bartender, please. Good friend, my dear friend, Tim Reynolds. Tim Reynolds, give it up. <laughs> Let's get a good shot there. There's a good end screen. Got both the boys, Dave and Tim. That was freaking phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And again, I'm kind of wrestling with the words here. I wonder what spurned him writing this song. It's almost like he's asking for forgiveness for something. Bartender, I don't know Dave Matthews' background, but did he have an issue with alcohol? And that's why the God or the angel is the bartender. It sound it sounded like a very deeply personal and emotional song. To him and just absolutely beautiful. And his voice, his voice just makes it into a trio. It's absolutely loved it. Loved it. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Now, so please leave a message. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a single video. This is Coach Michael 101, where we listen to music, epic music like this. Check out movies. Other miscellaneous mayhem, and hopefully, we have some fun along the way. I'll see you next video. Mm -hmm.